Mina, come on, Jesus freaking gamer here. Back with more Psalms. We're going to go Psalm 57 yet again. Do have some preaching to catch up to, so I'm trying to put out a few more messages than normal if possible. And today, it was possible. Psalm 57 had some good stuff for me. And what I want to focus on in this message is the fact that you know how God's gotten you out of some stuff, right? And if He hasn't, just uh, let life take its course and take its toll. Eventually, stuff is going to come your way. And you're going to need some divine grace to get through it in one piece and mentally sane. Um, <laughs> and we all have bad times in life. We all have things that we go through. And, you know, we as Christians, we know the source of grace, the source of peace. We know where the eye of the storm is, and it's in our daddy's lap, in our father's arms. <laughs> I wanted to remind you, though, that just because you've gotten through a storm or two, that doesn't mean no more storms are going to hit. That doesn't mean the remaining storms of your life are going to be easier. It doesn't mean that you're not going to need God's help next time, that you're used to this, you got this, you know where the grace is, you know where the peace is, so next time, not a problem. It's going to be fine. It may not be. It may be a storm bigger than the last one you went into. <laughs> It may be a storm that you think you can handle. And then when it hits, all of a sudden, you see your barricades coming down. You see your foundation starting to crack. You see the people that you thought were on your side abandon you. The people that, were, that came to you in the last storm, they're running away from this one. They're not there anymore. And all of a sudden, you're in a bad spot again. And you need grace like you've never known it before. David called out to God so many many times in some bad situation, in some, in some circumstance that just wasn't good. I mentioned it a few days ago that, you know, there are so many of these titles where David was in some bad spot, and so we get a hymn from it. And it's great how out of that pain and out of that trial, we got a hymn. And today it crossed my mind, you know, Sometimes we think just because we've won one or two fights that you know we're just some we're just some amazing people. We're strong, we're manly, we are womanly. If you're a, please don't be manly if you're a woman. That'd be horribly gross. But you know, or you know we're, we we we've got this. You know we're, we're tough, we're strong. We we're, we're we've got this thing. We've got it by the throat even, and we don't. Do not overestimate yourself. Don't overextend yourself. <clears throat> Take heed when you think you stand, lest you fall. <coughs> that is a Bible verse. I'm going to let you Google that one. Give you a little bit of homework for this. Don't become confident or cocky. Nothing wrong with a little bit of confidence. Don't become overconfident is what I meant to say. Or cocky. Just because you've passed one or two trials, you've gone through one or two tribulations, and you think, well, man, nothing can touch me now. Trust me, it can. As someone who has been through quite a few things. I'm only 36. Uh, I don't have a ton of gray hairs yet. I'm not even sure if you can see the few I do have on camera. Maybe a few on whoop, sorry that side. Might, might be a few on the camera there. But uh, regardless of that, I've been through some stuff. I th I've mentioned on the channel before how my mom died, and that just turned my life completely upside down. And, you know, that wasn't the first trial. It was the hardest so far. One of the first hard time I've been through. And the best thing we can do each time a hard time comes our way, depend on the Lord each time. Don't think you've got it. Don't think you've mastered it. Don't think you're there. Go to God each time. Ask for His grace and His help each time. Ask Him to get you through it each time. Even if you think you've got it, even if you feel all this strength welling up inside you, go to the Lord. You know, why use it? My thought is, why use up all of your energy and all of your resources when you can just go to the one who has it all? You know, instead of just using up the resources you have, maybe you might even gain a little bit by the end of the trial. Maybe you might be just a, a little bit stronger, have a little bit more, have a little bit more strength, a little bit more wisdom. Instead of exhausting your, fun, your funds, not necessarily money, but what's inside you and burning out, go to God and get help. Don't get cocky. Don't get overconfident just because, you know, I've done this before. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I've faced similar situations before I got this. Don't take that attitude. Go to God. Let him fix it. Daddy wants you to lean on him. That's one of the many, many things he is there for. So go to him. Let him do his job. 
you'll find that his yoke is a lot easier and his burden is a lot lighter. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.